Good morning, dear children. Today we are going to learn a new lesson of geography part, mineral resources. In this chapter, you will learn the mineral available in Karnataka and their importance. Understand the distribution and production of important minerals in Karnataka. As we know that Karnataka has variety of natural resources like rivers, evergreen forest, wind power, etc. Among these, mineral resources also comes under natural resources because it can be available under earth. By digging earth in a systematic way can be extract those minerals from under earth. So, mineral resources are non-renewable resources because once if it is over in a place it will not be extracted from same place once again so it's called non renewable resources so we have variety of minerals in our state they are iron ore gold manganese limestone copper bauxite chromite mica asbestos and granite etc among these in this lesson we will learn about some important minerals of karnataka first one is iron ore iron ore is the raw material for iron and steel industry odisha being the leading producer of iron ore in india with 120 million tons of iron ore in a year karnataka ranks second after odisha Based on quality of the iron ore, it is divided into two types, magnetite iron ore and hematite iron ore. In this, magnetite is the high grade iron ore and hematite is the second grade iron ore. Karnataka has 75 working iron mines and it produces 63 percent of magnetite and 37 percent of hematite iron ore. We know that by digging earth, in systematic way, we can extract iron ore from under earth. So, you can see in the picture iron ore mine. So, here you can see digging earth in a systematic way. Now, let us go to study about major iron ore mines in Karnataka. Mainly, iron ore mines are found in Chikamagalur and Ballari district of Karnataka. Along with this, some other districts also having iron ore mines like Bagalkot, Chitradurga, Tumakur, Shivamogga, Dakshina Kannada. So, these districts also produce iron ore but in less quantity. In Ballari district, Hosapet and Sandur are two major iron ore mines in our state. Both produce a hematite and magnetite iron ore. After Ballari, Chikamagalur occupies second position in the production of iron ore in our state. So, in Chikamagalur, some iron ore mines are there. They are Baba Budangiri Hills, Kemangundi, Kudremuk, Gangamul, Kalhatagiri and Jensuri Hillocks. But among these, Kudremuk has completely stopped iron ore mining in this place because of its biodiversity features. That means it has a variety of medicinal herbs, animals, important trees. So, mining works will harm those medicinal herbs, trees and animals. That is why central government has declared this place as national park and mining has completely stopped. Remaining ores, uh, mines are at working. Iron ores of Karnataka supplied to the iron and steel factory at Badravati and Jindal Vijayanagar Iron Limited, Torangal near Ballari. So, remaining iron ores are exported to various parts of the nation and foreign countries. Now, let us go to study second major mineral resource of Karnataka, manganese. Manganese ore found in oxide form in sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. You can see here 
picture of manganese so this manganese found under two types of rocks sedimentary rock and metamorphic rocks in the form of oxide it is used as an alloy in the manufacturing of steel to increase its hardness what is alloy alloy means uh, mixing up with other raw materials mixing up with uh, other raw materials uh, to increase the uh, hardness of steel we know that steel also same like iron one of the hard metal and it has more demands nowadays it is used in the manufacture of uh, some important materials like chemical products uh, then electrical industries also use uh, uh, in the preparation of electrical wire bulb etc then chemical fertilizer also required manganese as a raw material two more uses used in calico printing and paints paints we know that normal paints we use uh, for wall painting but calico printing means printing on clothes it required uh, different types of paint okay so that that type of paint prepared by manganese so due to its high demand it's also called ja jack of all trades the jack of all trades due to its high demand it's called uh, jack of all trades you know what is jack while repairing any vehicle you might have seen keeping jack as a support so same like uh, uh, what we called uh, one of the important raw material manganese also one of the important raw material used in the manufacture of uh, different uh, products now let us study distribution of manganese in karnataka same like iron ore karnataka ranks second after odisha in the production of manganese total production of manganese ore in karnataka is 27 percentage of the total production of manganese in the country so karnataka ranks second after odisha now let us study in karnataka which particular place is famous for a manganese mining in karnataka same place which has iron ore sandur sandur is the leading producer of manganese ore sandur also having iron ore so same place has manganese ore also so sandur produce 90 percentage of the manganese ore in the state remaining 10 percentage produced in different parts of the state they are kumshi then osahalli in shumaga district chikkanayakanahalli in tumkur supa londa in uttar kannada so these are other major manganese mines in the state so major portion of the state manganese production is exported to foreign countries like japan china and some other countries because due to lack of manganese industries in the state now let us go to third major mineral resource of karnataka is bauxite it is mostly used in the preparation of aluminium aluminium also one type of lightweight metal so it is also used in the manufacture of cement steel electrical wires etc so these products have more demands in the market hence bauxite also hence demand of bauxite also increased so kanapur kanapur taluk in belagavi district is the leading producer of bauxite in the state so this ore is used in the indian aluminum company factory at belagavi fourth and last mineral we are going to study in this lesson is gold gold mines are very limited so it is a very rare metal compared to other metals like iron steel then aluminum gold is one of the very rare metal because of its limited mines and it is it's a glittering metal glittering means a shining so glittering long term usable yellow metal gold is a very rare glittering durable yellow metal so these are features of gold it is used for making gold 
ornaments and in the manufacture of some valuable articles like golden watch, ring, chain, etc. Its production is limited, so demand for gold and price has increased. Karnataka is a leading producer of gold in India and it is produ it, it produces 80 percent of the gold in India. Out of 100, only Karnataka produces 80 percent of gold in our state. So, Karnataka is also called land of gold. From ancient time, gold mining practice was there in Karnataka, but in systematic way, British visitor John Taylor, he began gold mine in Kolar gold fields in 1880. So, after 5 years, KGF was established by British citizen John Taylor and his sons when in 1885 KGF has started. So, we know that it has four mines. They are Nandidurg, Origam, Champion Reef and Mysore mines. Among these, Champion Reef is the very deepest gold mine with 3217 meters depth. But at present, KGF is not working due to continuous uh, gold extraction from that place. So, that is why at present Hatti in Raichu district, one of the largest gold mine in India. Before that uh, KGF was largest uh, gold mine in our country. So, at present uh, Hatti, you can see the picture of uh, Hatti gold mine. So, Hatti became major gold mine in India. It produces uh, maximum gold. Some other gold mines are there in Karnataka. They are Bellara in Tumkur district, Ajjanahalli in Uttara Kannada, then Mulugund and Kappatagudda in Gadag, then Kempinakota in Hassan district. So, these are other major gold mines in the state. Look at that, some fill in the blank questions have given in your textbook, let us try to answer. First question is, Kudremuk in Karnataka is noted for dash ore. What type of ores available in Kudremuk? Iron ore. So, answer is iron ore. Second one, the best quality of iron ore is dash. Which one is best quality iron ore between magnetite and hematite? Answer is a magnetite. Third one is Sanduru in Ballari district has dash mines. Two types of mines are there manganese and iron mines. So, answer is mangane manganese and iron. Fourth one the metal that is produced from bauxite ore is dash. One of the lightweight metal produced using bauxite as a raw material. Which metal? Aluminium. Answer is uh, aluminium. Fifth and last one, the deepest gold mine is dash. We know that champion reef. Champion reef with 3217 meters depth. One of the deepest gold mine. One more exercise is there. That is match the following. First one in column A, supa. What is the matching word for supa? Manganese in column B, manganese, do not put line, just put number in column B. Second one, Hatti, we know Hatti famous for gold mine. Third one, Kumshi, what is that in Kumshi? Iron ore, so third one is iron ore. Fourth and last one, Kanapur, Kanapur is famous for a bauxite. Okay, so in this lesson, we learned about the four different types of minerals and its distribution. Remaining 1 marks, 2 marks questions and 3 marks questions will be given in your notes. Thank you.